Hi everyone, and welcome to Ben Key Watches. Today, I'm going to be talking about my dad's vintage Rolex 1500 Oyster Date with a silver index dial and riveted bracelet. I just received this watch right before my birthday, and I thought I'd do a special review on it as it has some sentimental value to me. Now I know what you're thinking. This watch looks kind of small. Yes, it is. It's a 34 millimeter watch. I normally wear a 40 millimeter watch, so it feels much smaller on my wrist. But guess what? It fits. For reference, my dad is just over five feet tall. I'm much taller than dad, though, as I take after all the giant uncles on my mom's side. However, I still have these tiny Asian wrists. This 34 millimeter Oyster Date watch fits my wrist. It's on the small side of what looks appropriate, but it fits. It'll be easy to slide under the cuff, and it's absolutely recognizable as a Rolex. It's amazing, even for its age, that you can still tell that it's a Rolex. This watch is 57 years old, and it's a 1.45 million case production number. It's a beautiful and well-made watch, and I'm really proud to own it. We can add to that, this watch has been on my dad's wrist longer than I've been alive. Let's go over the dial first. We see a nice silver sunburst index dial here under the plastic crystal. It's in great condition with only a few minor scratches. The hour markers are raised batons, and the baton hands are made of white gold. It says T-Swiss D at the 6 o'clock position, but I don't see any loom dots on the dial. Going on to the movement. The movement in this watch is the Rolex Caliber 1570. It's an automatic movement, which means it winds itself as you wear it. The movement is in great condition, and it keeps excellent time. Let's look at the Oyster Bracelet. The bracelet on this watch is a riveted bracelet. You can see that here on the sides on the bracelet. It's a very comfortable bracelet, and it's in great condition. You can size it from 6.5 inches up to about 7 inches. The clasp has a nice click to it. Dad took good care of it. There's hardly any stretching between the links, and it stands up when you put it on its side instead of drooping. The history. This watch was originally my dad's. It was first produced back in 1962, and Dad got his sometime after 1966. His sister bought the watch back in Hong Kong for her husband. She paid $100 U.S. dollars for it, which is $938 adjusted for inflation. My uncle absolutely hated the watch. It was too large and heavy for his wrist, and he preferred to wear his Tatoni watch. The watch was offered to Dad. Well, he's no dummy, and he gladly accepted it. Dad wore it every day for many years. It was always part of his business dress as an insurance agent. He finally offered it to me, um, and I'm very grateful to have it. While this watch is a 34mm watch, it fits my wrist, and it's something I'll have to remind me of my dad. It's an easy watch to wear. It's going to go to one of my kids one day, and I hope they'll appreciate it like I do. If you're thinking of handing down your watch to your kid, which one do you think they'll get? When do you think you'll give it to them? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.